Hi folks, this is John McCutcheon, checking in with you on the progress of the Pete Seeger tribute album that we're going to be mounting this spring. As you can see uh, from the campaign notices, we've actually reached our goal of $35,000. Thank you so much for your part in making that happen. We've got the money now to actually record the album. What kicks in now is what in, in this uh, methodology is called a stretch goal. It's to help us promote the album. It's not enough to simply to have it out there. We need to let people know it's there, get it out to reviewers, radio stations, stores, all that kind of stuff. And um, it's, uh, it's all part of the cost of doing a recording these days. And uh, it's not the sexy part of getting in there and making all the great music. Like this wonderful song that Pete wrote in 1973 when he was 54 years old. But he had no idea that he had four more decades to be with us. And he used that whole time well, all 94 years, and we're celebrating his 100th birthday, of course, with this recording. And as the song says, he wishes the world well when he is far away. That radical notion of hope, which Pete exemplified in his entire life, teaching us that the impossible just takes a little time. But working together, step by step, we can make it there. I'm gonna be recording this song for the album with the great bluegrass band Hot Rise, along with the fiddle playing of the incredible Stuart Duncan, who has been on most of my albums the last dozen years or so. I'm gonna be doing If I Had a Hammer with members of the great band Beausoleil, wonderful young band, The Steel Wheels, is going to join me for a special song, as well as lots of individual surprises. So keep letting people know so that we can let people know when this album comes out.